Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Tech Out the House, where we're gonna show you how to automate your smart home. There's lots of different ways to do it, but we just wanna show you three basic ways so that anyone could do it, pick it up, and have a good start on automating your smart home. Now, if you wanna see more in-depth videos, please let me know in the comment section. This is gonna be all your basics that you need to know how to start. Now, if you do also wanna see all of the different smart home tech that we got for this house, make sure to go ahead and check out the link for our previous video on Smart Home Tour 2022 from Newegg. So Newegg provided all of these different electronics that we did set up in the house, and now I'm gonna show you how to connect them all together. All right, without further ado, let's get started. Now the starting point that most people go to when building out a smart home automation is going to be two brands, and that is Amazon's Alexa and Google's Assistant. So both of these have smart speakers, smart screens, all of these kind of things, but you can actually start it right from your phone. Just use a Google Assistant app or the Alexa app, and you can start from there and just use your phone. Hey, turn these lights on. Hey, set the thermostat to this. Very simple, very easy things to be able to do right from these apps. The two lesser known ones are going to be Samsung SmartThings and If This Then That. Now, one of the lesser known ones is Samsung SmartThings. And this one has really standardized smart home automation by getting a lot of different brands to talk to each other. It does require a hub, which can be found on most Samsung TVs. So if you do have a Samsung Smart TV in the past three or four years, you probably have one built into it. So no need to buy something new, but they do sell them as well if you do need to buy one. Now, this one is kind of simplified the smart home game. It really makes everything connect to each other very simple and easily. The other one is If This Then That. It's a third party app that you can pay a monthly fee for that makes home automation very simple. If this happens, then this happens. Very simple, very easy to understand. And I have used it since the beginning. It's very dead simple. I usually recommend this to most people that are not techie at all. Now there are two others that are lesser known because they're not as wide reaching. And the first one is Apple HomeKit. Now Apple is growing in the smart home business, but the other three really have a leg up on it when it comes to connecting everything together. So Apple is still growing. Just make sure that every product you buy is HomeKit compatible because sometimes a product line will be overall HomeKit compatible, but maybe this one camera isn't. So just make sure to look out for everything being HomeKit compatible when going the Apple HomeKit route. The other one is Smart Assistant. Now this is for the techies out there. Smart Assistant is more of a DIY program. However, it allows you to do absolutely everything and it's really quick. So I personally do love it, but it's definitely gonna require a more in-depth video. If you wanna see that, let me know. But that one is going to be for the very techies because it requires you buying a Raspberry Pi, hooking it up, setting it all up, and again, very techy but very effective when done correctly. Now, when it comes to smart home automation, there are three main ways to set it up in your phone. First way is going to be through the app itself that is provided by the manufacturer. So you go to Eufy, you go to Philips Hue, and they have automation set up for their products to work with their products. So this is gonna be not all encompassing, but if you have a full suite of products from one provider, then you're all set with that. Second one is going to be Alexa, Google Assistant, and Smart Things, and this one is going to be products working together and being able to set it up. Now, this is really good for just your basic setups, and again, it allows different brands to talk to each other, like we'll have a Eufy sensor talk to a Philips Light in our demonstration. And then finally, we have If This Then That. So this is a third-party integration system that really is not any one particular brand and it really can make other brands talk to each other or even your phone talk to these brands. It's really awesome, it's very, very powerful, but remember it does require a monthly fee of about a dollar to two dollars depending on which tier you get. So let's start off with the first one which is the Philips Hue automation, which is just an automation that you can do through their app. So you open up the app and go to automation, which for Philips Hue is at the bottom, 
And then from there, I'm gonna show you guys my nighttime automation. This is a very simple one. It basically has my outside lights turn on when it's nighttime and then turn off when I don't need them to so it doesn't waste electricity. So first off, you just hit the plus sign, create something new, name it, and then say what you want to happen. So in this case, I'm using a time to start and end my action. So for this one, I'm going to put sunset so I don't have to worry about when is sunset or when it gets dark. Very simple, it'll turn on. And then I typically set it to turn off at around 9.30 just so it doesn't waste my electricity all night. Then you can choose how often and when you want it to be repeated. So for in my case, I'm gonna do every day in this situation, but again, you can actually customize this exactly how you want it. Then finally, we say what we want to happen. So in this case, I want my group of outside lights to turn on when I set it up. So very simple, very easy, but it really is beneficial. Then you click save at the top right and you're done. Then we have Alexa. So this is gonna be a third party app that can connect two or more products together in order to create an automation. So for Alexa, I'm gonna open it up. Obviously at this point, you should have already added your devices. So at the bottom part of this, you go actually go to devices, add all your devices. Once they're added, then under devices, you should see something that says routines. You also might see routines on your home. It just depends how uh, Alexa is learning from you right now. Now, once this is set up, you can set up a routine. So in this case, I want my Eufy sensor to trigger my Philips Hue light so that when I open the back door to my garage, the garage light, automatically turns on. So first we're gonna name it garage door light. Then we're going to trigger what we want to create the action. So we want a smart home product to trigger it, not a phrase or anything like that that you could also do. And then once we click that, we are going to choose what we want. And in this case, it's a sensor. So it's at the top, the back door sensor. Click that over there. And then you're gonna to wanna to say, what does this affect? So in this case, we are going to want to affect another smart home product, and that is going to be a light. So the light that we are choosing is the garage door light, and there in lies when it triggers. You can also do it to turn it on, to turn it off. Again, there's so many automations you can set up with this kind of setup. So maybe when it closes, the light turns off. Although again, these are different kind of scenarios you might want and not want this. You can also set a time when this happens. For me, I set it at 5 p.m. and later. You can set it however you want, but this is just different options you can do. And once you have that set up, you are all ready to go and now you have an automation that connects a Philips Hue light with a Eufy entry sensor all ready to go. And then we move to if this, then that. So this is Ted simple and I love just when you create it actually says, if this, then that. It's that simple. So we're gonna do for if this, and we're gonna set up when I arrive home. So we'll name it Ricky Arrive, and we'll set up when I arrive home, this and then that happens. So when I arrive home, let's set it up for the Philips Hue light on the back of the TV to turn on and blink, basically. So we're just gonna have it turn on. You can have it do all these crazy things. You can have it change a rainbow color. You can have all these sort of things but I kind of want my kids to know when I arrive home. So simple and easy that it just goes on like that automatically. I could also have my garage door open, but that's the beauty of this and that is you can do multiple that's. So let's also do something just for my sanity. Let's turn on the AC. So we're gonna add another that and we're gonna add Ecobee to this and set the temperature at 73. So when I get home, 73, my wife doesn't like that cold but when I get home, it'll kind of balance it. It's what I want and what she wants right in the middle, perfect a temperature and compromise. And so that's it. Once the applet is set up as they call it, then as soon as I arrive home, my thermostat is on the temperature that me and my wife have agreed to. And I now can let my kids know, hey, I'm home by the lights blinking blue or blinking on or whatever you want it to behind the TV. So very simple and easy, but I do love these functions. All right, guys, and that was how to automate your smart home. There's a lot more in depth that I could go. If you want to see that, let me know in the comment section. Make sure to check out our other video where we went over all the smart home tech that is in my home so far. And let me know what other smart home videos you wanna see for this channel. Thank you as always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy.
Thank you so much again for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like, and comment down below. Also, follow us on social media at YouTube Tech Guy and check out some more great tech videos on your screen right now.